Okay, so now we're going to talk about add-ons with Restrict Content Pro. And again, if you're just catching this, it might be one of the more final videos in the series here. If this is the first video you're catching of Restrict Content Pro. Make sure you go back, take a look at the highlight video, the overview video, and a whole bunch of other tutorial videos that we have here. In fact, we also did an interview with the creator of Restrict Content Pro, and they were gracious enough to be a monthly sponsor of Plugged In Radio. Um, we're going to take a look at using add-ons with Restrict Content Pro. Uh, I've also already mentioned before that you would download all your pro add-ons from your account page, um, but all of the free add-ons are available when you just go to add-ons, official add-ons. You get this whole list here, and you just click on these, and you can download them right now. I've already downloaded this. It prompts you for, you, uh, for an email address, so I'm skipping that, but I'm just going to use the MailChimp add-on, for example. Once you enter in your email, it says sit back and relax. Your download will start in a minute, and it did. I already downloaded it, and I'm ready to install it. I didn't test installing this, so this is very much uh, an out-of-the-box uh, experience. So I'm going to upload a plugin. Remember, you download these add-ons. You install them just like any other plugin. Choose File. There's the MailChimp add-on. I'm going to hit Accept, and then I'm going to hit Install Now. <clears throat> Installed successfully and activate plugin. I'm going to say that 99.99% .99 of these add-ons are all going to be activated and installed uh, the same way. So um, they'll probably all uh, be the same <laughs> for any of these add-ons that you do. Where does the uh, settings go? Well, we're going to hover over Restrict, which is the Restrict Content Pro admin link. And then you'll see right at the bottom now we have a MailChimp link. So I'm going to click that. I'm not going to um, use my MailChimp API right now because I can already tell you that this is going to be uh, super easy and uh, very self-explanatory. So what we're going to do is you head over to MailChimp and you get their API key. And just uh, to make people happy, I'll even Google it for you right here. <clears throat> MailChimp API key, about API keys right on the MailChimp website. And this will walk you through this video that I'm recording right now is actually showing you how to get the API. So I'm glad I did that. So anyway, Google MailChimp API. It'll bring you right to this page. It'll show you where to get these APIs. You come back to your Restrict Content Pro. You paste in your API key here. And that what, what that will do is populate your newsletter list. So all of the newsletters that you have set up in MailChimp. Uh, again, if you haven't used MailChimp before, if this is your first time doing this stuff, it's a great way to send email newsletters to your uh, members uh, or your audience. And uh, it'll pull in all the lists. So you're going to say, what list do I want all of my people, all the people who come to my website and register for a membership? What list do I want to add them to? This add-on is going to add these people automatically. It's awesome. It's great. If you're a marketer or you're building your list, I can't re recommend it enough. Give it the list. And then what does that label say? It says, enter the label to be shown on the sign-up page for the... Or, on the sign up for newsletter checkbox. So I'm actually just gonna copy this. I don't know if this will work, but let's just test it out. I'm gonna copy it, paste it in. I'm gonna save options. It might tell me I need to put my API key in. It doesn't, but let's just take a look and see if um, that field appears. So it doesn't uh, only because probably I haven't put in my, uh, my API key yet. So once you put in your API key and you have this all set up, you'll have a checkbox here that says, do you want to register, right? It'll be actually whatever you type in right here, sign up for newsletter. And you have a little check mark next to it so that the people say, yeah, I, I do want to sign up for that. And that means that once they sign up to, the, to your membership, it'll automatically send them over to MailChimp. Again, this is just an example of installing plugins uh, from or add-ons from Restrict Content Pro. It's like installing any other add-on. You go, you find it, you download it, you upload it, and then you play with the settings. Again, MailChimp is probably the most common uh, and the easiest to set up. I hope that answers uh, anybody's questions looking to install add-ons to Restrict Content Pro. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you like the video, go ahead and like it, share it. It's PluginTut.com. Thanks, everybody.